Welcome back to Barbagallo Raceway, which is located in Western Australia. We're about to bring you race two, featuring the V8 supercars here at Gone Broke Racing. Once again, we have a grid of 12 cars on this 1.5 mile layout. And they're off. It looks like, I can't tell who stalled there, but one of the back cars did have a stall. And the cars make it through turn one, no incidents. Oh, somebody went off over on the corner there. And it looks like Seahawks leads the, leads the way, followed by Don and Spaz. Top three are grouped in tight here. Oh, Seahawks breaks late. He loses a bunch of positions. Can he get back on safely? He does make it back on the track, but loses about five positions. Tony Diamond and Seahawks side by side here. Don takes over the lead. Spaz is in second. And there's one lap, which usually takes less than one minute for these cars to get around this one and a half mile course. bumper, trying to gain some positions back after going off course. Spaz in second, coming around the corner, loses traction. Gets back on safely. Looks like he's going to fall back into fifth or sixth position. Seahawks here. Diamond hugs the curb there a little bit. Seahawks takes advantage. Jumps to the inside. And makes the pass. Cars sweep around that corner. This track is really tough on tire wear. It's very uneven. These cars are on the edge, coming around these corners. We're following Wolf here, gets loose. Off track, doesn't hit the wall though. He's gonna get back on, he'll lose at least one position. Looks like Bones, I can't, I can't see who the other one is. Bones tries to get by. I think that was Stinky Five that went by him. Nice, nice piece of driving there. Doesn't make any contact with the other cars. It looks like Helios is second place followed by F1 and Seahawks is trying to move up another position and he jumps to the inside on this corner again makes the pass F1 lets him get by there here we're on board with Stinky 5 trying to chase down Spaz here Spaz is a little bit loose on the track here. And he, oh, he goes off course there. He breaks too late. Ooh, doesn't hit the wall though. This track is very forgiving in that regard. There's a lot of space to, to slide off and have a good chance of not colliding with anything. Spaz gets on the course here, gets on track. 
Don has a very comfortable lead here. Second is Helios, third Hawks, fourth F1. Diamond in fifth here. And speaking of fifth, there's Stinky Fife coming back up on to Diamond's bumper. Gets a good run on him. Now that corner there seems to be where majority of the passing takes place on this cr on this track. And this is about lap seven or eight. Oh, Don, the leader, goes and hits, uh, I think that's Old Slow Fred, Seahawks and Helios get by. Oh, and F1 tanks, tanks the car there. Again, I think that's uh, Old Slow Fred, I believe. Let's see that again. This is a replay here. This is Seahawks view. Let's see up ahead. Spin out there. Lots of smoke. Hitting hard on the brakes there. Gets around. Unfortunately. Okay, this is another replay. This is, this is Old Slow Fred's perspective here. So it looks like he got tapped from the rear. There's Helios and Seahawk come by. Unfortunately, oh, F1 tags him on the right front corner. And that allows Helios and Hawks to gain some ground on uh, Dawn there. Seahawks trying to go to the inside. Can't quite do it. Doesn't want to cause any unnecessary contact there. It's a good perspective here. Great lock up there. Oh, Helios goes loose! Oh, he hits the wall! Seahawks comes, comes through and takes a second position. This is later in the race. This is, uh, I believe, on lap 13. Lawyer goes off a little bit. Struggling with the setup with this car today, it looks like. No damage done, though. Helios, once again, that corner is not his friend today. He doesn't hit the wall this time, though. Nice, nice save, very nice save. Oh, Stinky punts old slow Fred out of the way. Get out of my way. And just after that, <laughs> there must be some oil on the track there. Wolf, Wolf loses it as well. Doesn't hit anybody though. Back underway. Lap 16 here. Don decides to go ahead and make his pit. Seahawks will take the lead. In the very next lap, Seahawks decides to go ahead and pit. Along with Stinky V3 and Wolf is up front on pit road. Everybody's pitting on this is about this is lap uh, 17, 16, 17. Seahawks gets back underway, maintains the lead, cuts off Lawyer there. I think Lawyer may have a few words for Hawks there, may have a few words after the race. Stinky continuing to push. I believe that's F1 he's trailing. Oh, F1 feels the pressure. Goes off course and loses his spot. So 
so that'll put F1 into fourth. And Helios into fifth. And we... Here's on board with Spaz. Trying to just keep it on track here. Loses it! Oh, does not make contact. Man, these guys are struggling today. This is a very slippery racetrack. Perspective of the cars coming around the last corner before the start finish line. Oh, somebody's getting loose there. Whoa! That stinky V3. Welcome to Gone Broke Racing, my friend. These cars can be challenging to drive. He did a nice job today so far. Again, Seahawks maintains the lead. Gets around a lap car there, and Don and Stinky are in second and third, respectively. I think Don's pit crew wasn't quite ready for him when he when he hit pit road earlier in the race, and that put him behind a little bit. Looks like Stinky is having a little bit of connection problems. From what I hear, he's uh. Some some hotel in Alberta. And this last lap of the race, Seahawks wins once again. Race two sweeps Barbagello, followed by Don, who does a little victory spin out I believe there Stinky comes through and Seahawks 1 fan comes away with the trophy oh it doesn't look like the other cars are very happy oh Wolf just destroyed his car there I feel the love here are the results for race number 2 And the current standings. Hawks in first. Stinky in second. Followed by Don Fleming. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.